Hey guys, James here with Waterford Business Solutions, and today we're going to be talking about tipping, and specifically tipping in House Call Pro. When we're talking about tipping, there's several things to consider here before we even get into taking tips. So the first thing is going to be how and whether you take tips. So different companies take tips for different reasons, and some don't take tips at all. A house cleaning company may be more apt to take a tip, than a HVAC company to take a tip just due to the services that you're performing. Um, but each company can set up whether they want to take tips or not. The next thing to consider is how you're going to handle the tips. If you're a small company and it's just you, then you don't have to worry about paying the tips out. But if you're a larger company and you've got multiple employees, now you have to set up a tip policy. Does the employee keep the entire tip? Does the tip get split between all the employees? How does the tipping work? So that's another big thing to take a look at there um, and decide on there before we even get into tipping. Then once we get to tipping, now we need to consider how we're going to accept tips. And there's two different ways to do it. The first way is going to be a fairly simple and straightforward way where we set up to allow tips in house call. And when the customer goes to pay the invoice, there's a separate screen that pops up that prompts them to go ahead and tip if they want to tip, which we can absolutely and easily do. The other thing we can do is we can record the tips as a product and service which is going to be a slightly easier method and take a little bit less time on the back end. However, in house call, most people use that add on tipping screen. So that's what I'm going to hit on first. So if we come into house call and we go to pay this invoice here and we say that we're paying by cash, we're going to go ahead and pay it by cash. We should get a pop up asking us about tip here. Now my account isn't fully set up to do that, which is why I didn't get that pop up. So let me make sure that I have all of this set up. Then I'm just going to go ahead and create a new invoice here because I'm actually using an old one, which is probably hindering. So so exactly right here. And the other thing to keep in mind, I forgot to mention was that the tipping screen in house call is really reserved specifically for credit cards, not for cash or check payments. So if we come in here, let's set up a new invoice or a new job. So if we go ahead and pay this here, and we pay it by cash, we're not going to get that tipping screen there. However, if we pay by credit card, which I'm not going to be able to show because I'm not going to do a credit card transaction here. If we go ahead and put in all the credit card information and then hit charge card, we would get a tipping screen here asking us if we wanted to leave a tip. So if that is how the customer is paying the tip, what's going to happen is it's going to come over into QuickBooks as an overpayment on an invoice. So it shows that you have a credit that you owe that customer there. If you have a credit that you owe a customer, what you're going to need to do there is you're going to need to do a journal entry in order to record that credit as zeroing out. With that journal entry, we're gonna to need to make sure that we have a tip account set up. And again, this is gonna be where it comes important to determine how you're gonna be kind of running everything here. So if you just have a basic standard tip account and it's just a small business, you can call it tip income. And if it's just you, and you're just taking that tip and saving it for yourself and you're not splitting it between anyone, 
then you're really easy to be able to go through and record as income for the company. Now, if you've got multiple different people, then we need to consider it a liability, especially if you're gonna be paying it out. So I don't actually have a liability in here. So I'm gonna create a new liability account because I'm looking at this being a larger company. And we're going to say that it is undistributed tips right there, other current liabilities, and save and close. Now what we're going to have here is we're going to go ahead and create a journal entry here. And that journal entry is going to go from accounts receivable to undistributed tips and we'll want to put in here who the tip was for if it was for a particular employee I'm gonna put in Bob Marley as an employee that way we're tracking who it's owed to at the same time and then we're going to want to put in the amount of the tip here. So give me one minute. I'm going to go ahead and get the invoice set up over here, and I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, so we've got that set up. And one thing I did want to correct here is earlier I put the employee's name in both of these fields. When we're doing a journal entry out of accounts receivable, we have to identify the actual customer here. So you would put your customer name on line one for accounts receivable and debit the amount of the tips out of accounts receivable, credit the amount of the tips into undistributed tips to the employee. Once we save that, then what we'll see is we'll go to the customer profile here, and from there, we're going to see the payment that was received on our open invoice. So we've got invoice right here, 1023, which is what I put in for $100 where we received a payment for $110. So we're leaving it with a credit of $10. So what we wanna do is we wanna select the journal entry that we created so that we have $110 to apply here and it all zeroes out. That way there's nothing open, there's nothing, no, no money that you owe them, it's all zero. Now this client actually has $10 still open due to a previous invoice that I have in here, but once you do this, it should be $0. Now from there, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go through on when running payroll and remove that $10 from the liabilities and put it into a payroll account. So in your chart of accounts, not only do we want to create a liability account for undistributed tips, we also want to create a payroll expense account. So we would come down here and we would do an expense. For payroll expenses, and we would name this payroll tips. In that way, That way, when we go ahead and run payroll, we, don't, we aren't left with this liability that we still owe Bob Marley because we're going to expense it out when we run Bob Marley's payroll. So that is going to be the primary way of running credit cards. Now, the other thing you can do in House Call Pro, instead of doing it that way, you can actually create a product and service called Tips. And that product and service when a customer wants to tip, you can come here and you can name it tips, put in the tip amount, and remember in house call, if you add a product and service here, it's not actually adding it to your price book. So you'll wanna come up and you'll wanna do it in your account and settings, and add it in your price list here to add tips here. So you do that, and then once it comes over into QuickBooks, you would just go to sales and products and services, and then we would find the tips that came over. We've got it right here. And we would choose where we want that to be mapped to. So we could go ahead and map that to assets, liabilities, whatever, and we could have that go to undistributed tips. 
so that any time a tip is collected, it's going to automatically go into that undistributed tips and you won't have to do that journal entry. What won't happen there is it's not going to identify the employee because House Call Pro isn't going to do that employee identification by putting it in there. So you are going to need to, at the end of each week, at the end of each month, however you distribute your tips, which is another thing you need to consider is how you're going to distribute the tips. You're going to need to go ahead and calculate everything up in house call and see who is owed which tips. So those are the two ways to do it. But remember, since we're putting it in a liability account, you need to expense it out. As always, guys, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to give us a call or email us. We'd love to be able to help you out.